Hey, I'm Olivia, and today we're talking with Ellie Lex. Ellie is the founder of the Gentle Barn, a home for animals who have been rescued from abusive environments. We're here at the California Ranch, where I'm hoping to make some animal friends. Let's go and find Ellie. Hi, Ellie. I'm Olivia. Nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet so you. So honored to be here. Thank you for having me again. Yeah, thanks for being here. Can you just tell me a little bit about who you are and what you do? Sure. So I'm the founder of the Gentle Barn Foundation, and the Gentle Barn does two things. We take in animals that nobody else wants, rehabilitate them, and give them sanctuary for the rest of their lives. And then when they're ready, they help us heal people with the same stories of abuse and neglect. So the animals here, are they all like friends? Do they get along with each other? Yeah, you know, farm animals are actually really peaceful. We have horses, cows, pigs, sheep, goats, wow. chickens, turkeys, peacocks, llamas, dogs, cats, donkeys, parrots, and <laughs> emu. Wow. And farm animals are really, really friendly with each other. They're very gentle, so they do coexist quite nicely. Have you named all of them? Oh, of course. Can you tell us some, some big supporters that you have? We have so many celebrities. Um, Ellen DeGeneres has been wow. a big part. Living in Los Angeles, we have a lot of celebrities okay. that come out and support us. My dream when I was little was, okay, God, I'm gonna do this work, but you have to pay the bills. Mm -hmm. And so just everyone that comes to visit, everyone that shares the General Barnes experience, everyone that posts pictures or supports us on social media, um, all those people are just participating in enabling us to do this work. This is Jasmine. Um, we rescued her when she was a tiny chick, mm -hmm. and so she was too young to live in the barnyard, so she lived in the house for five months. <laughs> and she slept in bed with me, and um, whenever I would drive around, she would sit on my shoulder in the car, and she would sit in our laps and watch television. Wow. <laughs> you know, it's amazing because people debate on whether chickens are smart. A lot of times people like won't want to eat cows or pigs, but like chicken will be like the last part of their mm -hmm. diet. Um, but having her in the house for five months, and seeing firsthand the intelligence, she's exactly like a dog. She played, she would like, she would find something on the floor and pick it up and I would want to take it from her and she would run around the house away from me <laughs> trying to not let me have it. You want to go see a giant pig? Yes. Oh my god. Hi. Do I come, come over? On. Okay. Hi, Josh. Good morning. Good morning, honey. This is Zeus. Hi, Zeus. Pigs are really active when they're young, and then when they hit about three years old, mm -hmm. they kind of sleep all the time. So he's what I call a professional napper. He just sleeps <laughs> all the time. I'm really, really glad that you're here and showing an interest in animals, because the truth is that we don't have a lot of time. What's happening to the planet and the environment yes. and the oceans and the forests and the animals and to our own health, it's all just getting worse and worse. It's just so important that we somehow cultivate the next generation of people to really want to preserve and love the planet um, and to connect with it. You know, we live in a world where farm animals aren't allowed in our neighborhoods. And so if we don't know them, then it's hard to care about them. And so that's one of the reasons why we want a gentle barn in every state, because we're trying to make those connections of people meeting turkeys and knowing that they mm. love to cuddle and <laughs> holding chickens and knowing that they're smart and hugging cows and knowing that they're so affectionate and meeting little piggies and <laughs> knowing how wonderful they are. And then hopefully with those connections, we'll create people that care about animals more. What can kids do to help the animals? If there's an animal that you know is hungry or homeless in your neighborhood, give them some food. If you find an animal that's stuck in the street or in a dangerous situation, call a grown-up or an organization to come and help them. Of course, loving your own animal makes such a difference. You want to make the animals in your surroundings happy, right? And if your family is looking for a pet to love, adopt one instead of buy one. All those things really, really help the situation. So who would you most like to meet in the world if you had the opportunity? A person? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, one of my biggest heroes is Jane Goodall. She's always in Africa and other countries helping the world be more aware of primates 
And because of her research and her studies, she's not only helped preserve primates in the jungle, but she's also helped more awareness of doing medical research on primates as well. What would you say to kids like me who want to do something like you do or be that really successful person? What would you say to them? Uh, what I would say is that there is a song inside of every one of us that we've come here to sing. There is a gift inside of us that we've come here to share with the world. And oftentimes when we're younger, we know exactly who we are and why we've come here. Um, but through life circumstances, we tend to get lost or doubt ourselves. And so what I would say to children is look deep inside you and know exactly who you are and what you've come here to share with the world. And never give up, never take no for an answer. It took me 30 years to start The Gentle Barn and overcome many, many obstacles, but I never, ever gave up and now I get to live my dream every single day. Thank you, it was so nice meeting you. Olivia again. Thank you. Nice to meet so you. Nice you. Thanks for having me. After meeting with Ellie, I was truly astonished. She's a wonderful person with a huge heart. I hope I get to volunteer at The Gentle Barn one day. See you next time.